welcome to knowledge series interactive sessions from Yogakshema. In this episode, we have with us Dr. Usha Vastare, a renowned neuroscientist and founder of Yogakshema. We generally keep hearing about uh, work-life balance and these days uh, it has become very important. Going to work, working late and complaining that there is no personal time, there is a lot of stress, there is a lot of anxiety because of these. Now whenever we say work life, you always say harmony and you do not uh, so much say about work life balance, rather say harmony. So what is this harmony? Why the word harmony rather than work life balance? And uh, what is it to do with uh, Vedanta and neuroscience? Rather, how does uh, again in, in this kind of situation, can Vedantic concepts or neuroscience concepts help us? What do we do when we juggle? Just imagine this, let this be a thought experiment, okay? We have, and let's take the example of juggling balls. Usually, it will be more than two, many, as many number of balls that we can juggle. When we look at work, life and personal life and something else and our own personal health issues and what not, there are many, many issues. How do we handle all of this? When we actually juggle balls, what happens? We are focusing only on one ball at a time. It may be fraction of a second in the actual act of juggling, but we are focusing on one ball at a time. While we are focusing on one ball does not mean we are ignoring the other balls. Everything else is in the peripheral vision, right? And if you ask, oh, which ball has the highest priority? Can we answer that? No, the one that we are paying attention right now has the highest priority, right? It's the same way when we deal with our personal life, professional life and other things. Not only that, now imagine these balls are made up of different material. Some balls are made out of rubber, some balls are made out of glass, some balls are made of stone and we are trying to juggle everything. Which is the one that even if one of the ball falls down, which is the one that is easier to get back? Ones that bounces back, right? The ball that is made out of rubber. Usually in people's life, work is like that rubber ball. We bounce back because we know that is important. So we pay more attention to that rubber ball. And many a times if we do not understand the importance of interpersonal relationships and if we take others for granted which happens many a times especially with our loved ones then that ball becomes a glass ball if it fall once it is gonna be hard to put it back together when a glass ball falls so if we bring in the family values and understand, everybody understands in the family, how do we understand and implement both individual values and family values together, then the personal life also becomes a rubber ball, not the ball made out of glass. In fact, each and every ball that we juggle will become a rubber ball if we make this paradigm shift in the way we are looking at our lives. That we need to harmonize, we need to bring everything together so that the sum of all of that has to be greater than just each one of those added together. Rakal, continuing with this juggling uh, uh, analogy, all we need to do 
is to be careful. I know it is extremely tough to juggle, not even the physical juggling not everybody can do, right? And let alone the other things in our life. But if we completely understand this and buy into this philosophy, which is highly scientific, if we buy into this concept of harmony and uh, understanding through the juggling example, even though it is tough, all we need to do is to make sure we don't let that ball hit the floor. And sometimes it does, we know that in real life. And even if it does, as long as we are juggling all rubber balls, then we are okay, it will bounce back. We can pick it up and start juggling again without any breaking of the glass balls. The only thing here we need to remember is that we need to practice this juggling, it doesn't come easy and we become adept at juggling and this can happen if we enjoy the pro process itself. Let the path becomes the goal. Let us enjoy the journey of juggling various different aspects of our life. You know, it is better to learn to juggle rather than not live life to the fullest extent. That was beautiful again, um, very new concepts, very different way of understanding. I remember a quote from Swami Vivekananda, let me paraphrase it. Uh, Swamiji says, uh, you must be able to sit and meditate deeply this moment and the next moment you should be ready to get up and work in the fields. So I sort of can understand uh, from the example you gave what he is talking about. If you have any other angle that you want me to take up in my next episode or if you have any questions please put it in the comments or you can also uh, mail us, we will put up the email id in the description part of this video. Thank you so much. Thank you.